Fantastic to be here. Fantastic to see so many people here today. I think this is a Agile People record. I think we have 245 or even 250 people this year at Agile People Sweden. I'm so thrilled. It's amazing. It's for the sixth year that we are running this conference now, and it's been increasing ever since 2013. And um, you will get two amazing days, or one amazing days, day if you're just here for one day. And I'm very proud and excited to introduce to you the team that made this possible. Uh, so, will you please stand up or show yourselves and raise your hands, team, who has been here to make this possible. It's uh, Jagge, Björn, Micke, <laughs> Natalia, <laughs> Gaia, <laughs> Matthias, <laughs> Monica, <laughs> Jesper, <laughs> and Helgi. Very diverse team from different parts of the world, just like we are. We are agile people. So we are finally here. Can you believe it? It's amazing. Without any project <coughs> plan or formal manager or monetary reward at all. Just a lot of informal communication <coughs> via Slack and Trello, driven by an inner drive and a passion for changing the world. That's what drives us. So Agile people, who are we? Just a small uh, explanation who we are. <coughs> Agile people is a non-profit organization that practices the principles of networking and self-organization. And anybody can contribute, and everybody is welcome. We run meetups, and we run conferences with the purpose of bringing people together to discuss how we can create better organizations. Not IT here, and HR here, and leadership here, but together. That's how we do when we create better organizations. We need to start those discussions, and collective intelligence is, of course, uh, much more important than just single uh, functions. So, the need for change has never been greater than today. So the need for agile people is bigger than ever. So welcome to join us in our meetup group and conferences. Why are we then doing this? Well, today we are living in turbulent times and um, we are facing climate changes. We are also facing political po uh, polarization uh, and it's growing all the time. So we need to find our own inner compass and guide ourselves and other people towards good democratic principles and solutions. So companies and organizations also need to play a role in this, we see. And they also have a responsibility for how people behave in society and how we foster a successful collective mindset uh, that contribute to a better world. Uh, it's one world, it's one ecosystem, and globalization and digital development is making it smaller every day. So welcome up Natalia and Gayan, who will be my co-moderators for today. Uh, Natalia is from Germany, and she's running Agile People Germany. Uh, and um, she is doing meetups in Hamburg and Munich for the time being. Uh, Gayan is a colleague and a friend from IKEA in Malmö, and she works with the Agile Transformation there. So, let's see. Move to the next. Oh, back. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. Should I help you? Yeah. So, yeah. Why are we here? It has been 17 years since Agile Manifesto was created. 
and IGEL is changing the world. Yet, the first IGEL value is often forgotten, and there is still an over-optimistic belief that processes, tools, and frameworks will, success will be successful moving forward. At IGEL People, we believe that exploring ways of collaboration and interaction between people with different perspectives is the best way to address complexity. This is why we have chosen the theme of this year's conference. Today, people are more important than ever. Organizations are made of people and people's interactions and relationships, all depending on of on what prerequisite we will create for those people. They will make organizations successful or not. As leaders, we all need to make it easy for people to perform rather than prevent them from value creation. Great. So, so that's better. So now you already know who we are and why we're all here today. But we would like to get to know all of you a little better. And that's why I would like to ask you to get out your phones. You'll probably have them on you, we assumed. And open up a browser window and go to menti.com and enter the code you see on the screens. And just to let me know that you're all there, just press the heart button. And then you can see a small survey you can fill out, and we'll come back to the results a little later. So we already got a couple people sign up. That's great. So while you're doing that, I will... <laughs> going back. <laughs> yeah. So we're all set? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. So we put together an extensive program for you today, starting with the first keynote speaker in a couple minutes. So we'll have Dave Snowden for you here today talking about returning Agile into the wild. After a short coffee break, we'll have Doug Kirkpatrick for you talking about managing complexity with simplicity. Then in the afternoon, we have two more keynote speakers for you. We've got Evan Lieborn talking about certain uncertainty and finishing up with Fabiola Eiholzer talking about Azure as champion for individuals and interactions. In between, we have a couple of speed talks that we offer you. So <coughs> we'll have a variation in the morning, two sets of three speed talks for you before lunchtime and one in the afternoon. And how it works is you've got three running in parallel and you just choose the speed talk you find most interesting. Each one lasts for 20 minutes and I've got five minute rotation time in between. You'll find all the details also on the schedules lying around and hanging on the walls. The whole day we also have a great offer for you if you don't want to join every talk or if you want to uh, have some interaction in between. We have Agile 42 here right around the corner in the lounge area offering a coach clinic. So all of you are invited to use the service and get some help on any kind of topic you're currently working on. You can exchange views and ideas with Agile coaches. And every session is 15 minutes long. You can just sign up for one, or if there is no line, you can also go there uh, just spontaneously. Regular clinic hours are the conference break, an hour prior to the first session, and an hour past the last session. So just walk out the corner here, and you'll see all the Agile coaches probably with the T-shirts and the green towels. So you should be able to find that. And speaking of where to go, so this is the setup of today. So you currently find yourself in the main room, it's called Loke, looking at the local lounge right behind you. If you're looking for the speed talks, we've got one always in the main conference room and then one in tour one, so just right out here and all the way down the hallway. And the other one is located in Embla, so to your left. And either you get the shortcut through uh, the restrooms or you get the way around, uh, we've put signs up for you so it should be able to find that. 
And then if you want to have coffee or join us for lunch breaks, we will always be there in the lounge area, so the big one right here at your back, or the tall lounge over there. But this doesn't stop us today, so we'll have the whole conference day today, then we'll finish the day with an agile ale, joining everyone in for a beer and some more conversations. And then if you already signed up for the second day, you can join us for a deepening workshop. So all the keynote speakers will be here for a full day, deepening topics on complexity, self-management, business agility, and HR. And if you want to be more practical around agile principles, you can also join Dom and his team for the agile cooking class. So if you already signed up, you'll find the participant list right behind here at the glass walls, and you can still sign up for the three spots as long as they're available. Okay, so we got a competition today as well. No conference without a competition. And it's a Twitter competition and an Instagram competition. And I would like to ask my colleague Jesper to come up and explain about these competitions. Yeah, so we're going to have two competitions running throughout the entire day. So one is going to be on Instagram and one on Twitter. So to enter the competition on Twitter, we're going to choose two winners. Uh, the winners get this Agile People book, written here by Pia Maria. And it's also a signed copy here. <laughs> so, <laughs> to enter the contest, uh, <coughs> one winner will be the one that tweets the most using the hashtag Agile People. And one winner will be chosen from the one that has the most engagement, meaning retweets and comments. So those are the two things we're looking at. Uh, and for Instagram, we have, uh, uh, you just need to follow our page. And throughout the day, we're going to post pictures uh, about the conference. And you just need to follow the page and like the pictures. That then you have one entry into the contest. So yeah, good luck. <laughs> Great. So before we get started with the first keynote, we're curious to see who is out there. The password for the Wi-Fi is conference with an S786. <laughs> but coming back to the Mentimeter and getting to know you. So we're looking at, oh, a lot of first timers this year. So 136 of you are here for the first time. Very welcome. But we also got a couple people who's been here before. <laughs> Still moving. Your key areas of interest are quite spread out, lots of interest in agile leadership, agile organizations, transformation, and all of the above. <laughs> and we got a kind of spread out knowledge level regarding agile, agile HR leadership and business agility as well, from low to experts. So I think we got a good mix set up for you where everyone can find something in the agenda to yeah, increase your competences and learn something new. And the one thing you want to take away from this conference is inspiration. So we'll do your best to serve that need. Regarding the biggest barriers you see for becoming agile, it's also quite a mix. Talking about fixed mindsets, fear, culture, fear of change. Organizational culture again, old processes, traditional management, and much more. So I think we'll cover a lot of these topics in the upcoming talks as well. <laughs> it's still adding, that's great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. Um, just a few words on the book. Uh, I wrote it because it was needed. It's uh, written in simple English language because I'm not a native English speaker. So it's simple to read and it's targeted towards leadership and HR who does not have that much knowledge about Agile. So it's a, a book to buy to your HR people and your managers to give to them like a first book about Agile mindset and values. 
It's available at Amazon, uh, all the different Amazon sites in the world. It's also available at Bokus here in Sweden. And you can also buy a copy here. Um, actually, you can swish then, if you have a Swedish swish account, 10 euros. It's a conference price. And the swish number is over there. Um, so, yep. That's it, I think. Let's move on. Yeah, this is a self-organized conference. You may have seen that. We don't have a fantastic event planning team uh, doing this conference. We are all just putting in our free time to work it with it. Uh, so uh, help each other to find a way to find the toilets, to find the fika, to, to mingle and to network with each other. So self-organization is what we expect from you. We are, of course, here to help. If you see somebody with these shirts, uh, then we will help you as much as we can. We also would like to take the opportunity to thank our sponsors here. It's Agile42. Thank you, Giuseppe. It's uh, IC Agile. Shane Hasty is somewhere here in the crowd. Where are you? He's over there. Shane, thank you for sponsoring the conference. We have Crisp. Um, somebody from Crisp, except Mikke at the back. Yeah, we have somebody there. Thank you, Crisp. Uh, thank you, Green Bullet. That's me. <laughs> thank you, myself. <laughs> and we also have Agile Gothenburg somewhere. Over here, Agile Gothenburg. Thank you for sponsoring. I didn't forget anybody, no. <laughs> 